Welcome my friends. In today's video I'm going to show you how I'm turning a sandstone rock like this into that Buddhist etching using that fiber laser. It's pretty cool. Follow along. Okay friends, like I said uh, in this video today I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this sandstone rock, just a standard flat rock. Ideally you want something nice and flat. You need a, a fairly flat surface so you're not getting any uh, difference in a focal point. Uh, most importantly, anytime you're working with a laser, please please make sure you're wearing some eye protection. I wear these. You can get them right on uh, Amazon link it down below in my uh, video description. Uh, but buy something and protect your eyes. You also want to have a good ventilation system so you're not breathing any dust, uh, fumes or anything that are going to be toxic and hurt your lungs. And always pay attention to your laser. Or don't burn your house down trying to do a uh, fun project for somebody. We'll get rolling here. At this point, uh, using EasyCAD 3, which is the software that you have to use when you're using a fiber laser, uh, I've got my image already loaded up, and that's what it looks like. So what I need to do at this point, I've got to bring the rock over, and I have to get it nice and level. Like I said, it's very important that it is level, so you have a good flat surface to, uh, to begin to etch. And you want it level uh, both right to left and front to back. Uh, and that is nowhere near level. Pretty good there. All right, now that we've got everything nice and level, I've got the image centered where I want. I'm gonna check that one last time. And my focus length just went up a little bit because I set the offset to that 44 that I was looking for. Center that just a little bit more. Uh, looking good there. Actually, I just wanna show the contour of it. That's kind of a cooler view. And I'm gonna turn on my fume extraction. Because like I said, with the sandstone or anything you're burning with a laser, it's gonna produce fumes, it's gonna produce uh, a dust. And these sandstone uh, ones definitely produce a lot of dust when you're burning a rock. You don't want to breathe that in. So ventilate, ventilate, ventilate. And it looks good. We're going to send it. See all the dust that it's creating. That's stuff that you would be breathing in if you didn't have a uh, good ventilation system. And that's it, about 20 minutes, and that's what we have. Looks pretty good. All right, my friends, that's the project. A sandstone etched with a Buddhist symbol. Uh, it turned out pretty good, if you can see it. Uh, it's a nice deep etch. I'm happy with it. The customer's gonna be happy with it as well. Uh, as long as you have your project nice and level, left to right and front to back, and your focus and your power and speed and frequency right with a fiber laser, you're probably gonna turn out a decent project. But bear in mind, you're going to need to practice, whether it's a fiber laser, diode laser, or a CO2 laser, you're going to need to practice at it, get your settings right, and get your uh, your everything uh, correct. You're going to make mistakes. I've got a boatload of them. I call it burn and learn, and, and that's the only way you're going to get good. However you do it, just remember one thing. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, and get out in your garage or your workshop and do some laser etching. See you.